bonne soirée. Hello. Tickets are available if you are interested. Can I buy a ticket, please? Please, through those double doors. As you well know, Aldridge T. Abington. My prosperous career as the greatest showman on earth is well known from Russia to France, and especially London, where I receive very warm acknowledgments and once entertained the great queen herself in a manner I cannot discuss further. <laughs> yes, you are about to witness the grandest of shows. Up next, a goddess of fire. Her dance will mesmerize you and drive a sharp bargain for your soul. <laughs> Antoinette Sanservino. isn't she? You know, I once tried to woo her, but she managed easily to elude my efforts by setting my top coat aflame. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I met this next remarkable lady on a steamer bound for Morocco, where they have the queerest and most delightful tobaccos one should ever partake in. She is unrivaled with a sword and her dance will captivate you. The mysterious Maya.
lovely! Isn't she lovely? The thighs of an angel, the charms of the devil. <laughs> this next act has delighted audiences around the world. He is the greatest magician alive, especially as many have died attempting feats of escape. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. Thank you, Madame and Monsieur. Thank you all. Oh, I am the great Benjamin Lazarus, cheater of death, revealer of truth, and without a doubt, the world's finest escape artist. Death, madness. It is all around us. A beautiful wife of 14 years old suddenly dies of colic and pleurisy. A wealthy man goes mad and hacks his family to bits. Oh my God. Why? The mind is weak, and yet it imprisons us all. Tonics and liquors keep the spirit buoyant as we all suffer all kinds of maladies in this life. These days, you are just as likely to die a man of 12 years old as you are a man of 42 or more. Now, you can easily ascertain by simple observation that those who live to an old age are not from the wealthier classes. Midnight banquets of highly seasoned food and champagne are not invigorating influences. They are excesses that promote premature decay. A decay that begins first in here, in the mind. You may have heard that in the mental wards of asylums, they keep the most violent and insane patients in a straight jacket. A piece of clothing used to restrain them so they don't injure themselves or others. It was invented in France 110 years ago. And tonight, you may deem me as suffering from some lunacy as I am going to undress. And my assistant will put me inside this straight jacket. Now, Jesus yes! Very good. I shall stand on this wooden stool and attempt to break free. However, I must be careful as I will have this hangman's noose around my neck while doing so. Surely, no man alive can escape such a prison. Well, no man, <laughs> apart from me. <laughs> now, this jacket is tightly sewn and composed of cloth that cannot be ripped by the wearer. I am completely bound and unable to move. I must warn any women present who are prone to hysteria, fainting, or the vapors. They may not want to watch me attempt this escape, as it could end in my certain death. And as we all know, watching a man hang is not the best entertainment. <clears throat> Music, please. Stay still. No! Stop. He hung himself after all. <laughs> Wasn't that amusing? Quite the practical joker he is. Why would we hang a man for amusement? Ridiculous. That was horseshit. Uh, what an incredible night. 
I pray that you won't remember this evening for as long as you live, or at least until tomorrow when you might die of smallpox anyway. Good night, Saint Denis. Don't go off.